whatever the origin of the constraints, parallelism between bodies, kinematic loops, they impose algebraic relationships between the generalized coordinates q, denoted h of q is equal to zero. Let's take the example of the four bar mechanism in which the generalized coordinates uh, can be chosen as the relative angles q1, q2, and q3. Since this mechanism only possesses one degree of freedom of motion, two loop constraints, let's say HL1 and HL2, are required to express the closure of the mechanism, for instance, at the inch D. And they tell, in fact, that two coordinates, let's say Q2 and Q3, can be geometrically expressed in terms of the first one, Q1. Coordinates Q2 and Q3 will be referred as dependent coordinates and denoted QV. Whereas Q1 will be de denoted as the independent coordinate and denoted QV. This allows to introduce the so-called coordinate partitioning technique. For which the global set of generalized coordinates Q is split into independent coordinates QU and dependent coordinates QV. The number of QU will be exactly equal to the number of degrees of freedom of the multibody system, one in the case of the four bar mechanism, while the number of QV will be exactly equal to the number of independent constraints applied to the system, two in the case of the four bar mechanism. Let's now summarize the multibody equations. The equations of motion reads m q dot dot plus c is equal to q plus j transpose lambda, where j stands for the constraints Jacobian. You also have the constraints themselves. For instance, the loop constraints for the four bar mechanism. The constraints at velocity level and at acceleration level. All these equations form a set of differential algebraic system denoted D, A, E for differential algebraic equations that are not so easy to solve. We are able and we will be able to reduce this set of differential algebraic equations into a pure set of ordinary differential equation thanks to the coordinate partitioning technique. As already shown with the four bar mechanism, let us partition the generalized coordinates Q into independent coordinates and dependent coordinates. This partitioning can be applied to the Jacobian matrix 
in terms of two submetrics denoted ju and jv and also to the equations of motion for the mass matrix for the acceleration for the dynamic term C for the joint generated forces Q and for the constraint forces with lambda being the Lagrange multipliers Assuming that the matrix JV is a full rank square matrix and after some matrix man manipulations it is possible to eliminate lambda and the dependent variable to reduce this set of equations into a set of ordinary differential equation in terms of the independent coordinates u only. This is the reduction done via the coordinate partitioning technique. In some of these equations represent a set of purely ordinary differential equations denoted ODE. Their number equals the number of degrees of freedom of your multibody system, for instance, one for the four bar mechanism. A great advantage of this reduction technique is that these differential equations, once transformed into a first order system, and using, of course, a suitable uh, variable substitution, in our case, position and velocities of the independent variables, this equation can be time integrated using a standard time integrator like the Euler scheme or the Runge-Kutta scheme. This will enable you to simulate and then to visualize the motion of your multibody system.